So the Captivate study is for previously untreated patients younger than 70. Um, patients get three courses or cycles of ibrutinib by itself, which is a BTK inhibitor. Uh, it's an oral agent. Then we add venetoclax, another oral agent that's an inhibitor of another protein called BCL2. Um, and patients get a total of 12 cycles of combination therapy. They're evaluated for their MRD status or minimal residual disease status. They have to have confirmed undetectable MRD um, to, um, to be assigned to uh, a group for randomization for the undetectable patients. If patients have unconfirmed undetectable MRD or M pre uh, uh, MRD present, they get um, assigned to another group and are randomized. Um, and so there's two randomizations in the study based on what their MRD status is at the end of 12 cycles of combination therapy. Um, and patients in each arm are randomized to different treatments for the undetectable, confirmed undetectable MRD cohort. They're randomized to either placebo or continued ibrutinib monotherapy. And the purpose of the study and the, the, the primary endpoint is what I will be presenting at ASH is the one-year disease-free survival for patients um, assigned to placebo versus ibrutinib monotherapy in the confirmed undetectable uh, cohort. Um, and the bottom line is that the analysis showed that there wasn't a difference in one-year disease-free survival between patients who got placebo versus patients who got uh, continued ibrutinib single agent, um, thus giving us comfort in stopping treatment and giving a fixed duration of treatment um, with the combination uh, uh, therapy. The, un the patients who did not have confirmed MRD, um, those patients were randomized to receive uh, ibrutinib single agent continued or continued combination with uh, ibrutinib plus venetoclax. Um, and the um, endpoint that will be presented in terms of that cohort is um, improvement in MR undetectable MRD status with continued treatment. Um, and so uh, it's, a, it's a relatively complicated study. The question that's being answered with the ASH presentation is, do patients have a difference in one year disease-free survival between the placebo versus ibrutinib uh, single agent continued therapy for if they have an undetectable MRD status at the end of one year of combination uh, or 12 cycles of combination therapy? And the answer is that there's not a difference. 95% for the placebo arm, 100% disease-free survival for the ibrutinib arm. Um, patients are doing very well with fixed duration uh, treatment and treatment discontinuation, particularly if they have an undetectable MRD status. Right. So right now, combination targeted therapy is not yet approved by the FDA for treatment. Um, there are several clinical trials that have looked at combination targeted therapy. Uh, there's a group in UK led by Pete Hillman who's done work, a trial uh, called Clarity. We've done a trial here at MD Anderson of ibrutinib plus venetoclax. This trial, the Captivate trial, is a multi-center international trial with combination therapy. So it it gives us additional information around safety and efficacy of combination therapy. Um, I do anticipate, and there are several large randomized trials that are ongoing with, with combination therapy. I, I do anticipate that we will see in the near future where combination targeted therapy will become an approved uh, treatment um, and will uh, become a standard of care. So not yet standard of care, but most likely in the near future will become standard of care. And that's supported by uh, several of these studies, including uh, the Captivate study, with the expectation of patients receiving fixed duration treatment, being in remission, and having a time off treatment um, in remission uh, following their combination therapy.